Hi, I'm Michelle with College Swimming Guide, and I'd like to talk about a question that comes up from time to time. Should my swimmer wait to contact coaches until he achieves his goal times? This is a really tough question. The answer isn't clear cut, and it depends on the age of the swimmer. If your swimmer is a sophomore and thinks he will hit his goal times, I would advise waiting to contact coaches at any reach schools for now. But if your swimmer is a junior or a senior, he should basically have two target lists of schools. He should have a realistic list, his A list, where he fits well and is within scoring range at conference champs, since that's what most coaches are looking for in recruits. He can also have a reach list, his B list, where he thinks he can hit times that would score at conference champs, but he's not there yet. It won't hurt to email coaches on both lists, but he should put more time and effort into his realistic list, since that's the one that's most likely to produce results at this point. When emailing coaches on the reach list, swimmers should emphasize any recent improvements and what they're doing to improve even further. Some coaches have a list of consideration times that they use when evaluating recruits. They're often pretty close to the times that scored at conference championships. They will sometimes share these times with recruits and tell them to contact them if they achieve a consideration time. This is helpful because it lets your swimmer know what to aim for. In my experience, coaches start the recruiting season going by the consideration times, and some of them are able to fill their recruiting classes with these. Others end up relaxing the times they're looking for, so it doesn't hurt anything for your swimmer to continue to email coaches if they don't quite have those times. They just need to understand that it might be a long shot, and they should be focusing on realistic schools at the same time. For more information on simplifying the recruiting process, check out the College Swimming Guide website at www.collegeswimmingguide.com to learn how to become a member of the Fastlane. Members receive monthly action items, sample emails to coaches, lists of questions to ask coaches, and many more resources. We also have a directory of all college swim programs in the country with information about each program and questions answered directly by the coaches, including practice schedules, when coaches prefer to be contacted by prospective recruits, whether the program offers scholarships, and what the coaches are looking for in a swimmer. Fastlane members have access to spreadsheets of conference championship meet times and top event times for all of the college swim programs in the country, which saves you hundreds of hours of time in your research. Our Fastlane community is an online space for swim parents to ask questions and share information. And of course, Fastlane members have access to my expertise through the private community, live chats, and the ability to purchase private consultations if desired. I hope you consider joining the Fastlane. Feel free to contact me through the website if you have questions about the material.